go for the meditation of the word of God. Let us turn our pages to the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 11. Please, everyone of you, read it in English and in Tamil. Luke chapter 2 verse 11 Today a Savior who is Messiah the Lord was born for you in the city of David. Amen. Tamil is the same as the Lord. Indra Kartra ke Christian Mrachagar Ungalke David in Urile Prendri Kendra. Today in the turn of David a Savior has been born to you he is Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the month of joy as we stated in the beginning. The word of God very beautifully says, the Savior has been born. What do you mean by the Savior? Our Lord Jesus Christ has been called the Savior. Why we need Savior at that, at that time? Because everyone is in the bondage. Everyone is need deliverance, redemption from the bondage of uh, the sin. Today, we have to come out of sin, came, uh, come out of the bondage of the Satan and uh, sinful nature, sinful activities. We need the Savior. By ourselves, by our own blood and flesh, we can never come out of any clutches by the evil power which is a superpower in this world. The Word of God says in other part, the Satan is the father of the lie. And since uh, the Satan is uh, overpowered in this world, we cannot come out of uh, sin, the bondage by our own self. That is the reason we can see here uh, the cause, the reason for the existence of the King of Glory, Lord Jesus Christ, is for the redemption, to save the people. The people are suffering, the Christians, the disease, and so on, so many things we can keep on saying. There is no counting, uncountable sufferings that people are facing because of the sinful nature, because of the Satan. Unless you cast out the demon, cast out the Satan from this world or from our character, it is not possible for us to live in peace and joy. Therefore, the Lord God has taken the incarnation and He existed on this earth, taken the human form and lived among us and He died for us. He bore our sins. That is what the Word of God says. Jesus Christ is a Savior. No one else can save us. And uh, we know whatever we need, where to get, where to buy, how to go, how to come, we know very well. But we can never see the salvation availability places in this world. You cannot uh, get it in through Google Earth. Even in such a salvation, you can never get uh, from Google. Today everyone lives uh, based on Google. But if you need salvation, redemption, Deliverance, you should come to the Christ. No other way. That is what the Word of God says. Today is the day, the salvation. Unless you turn to God today, the moment you understand that you are the sinner, you are suffering from sin, you are suffering from the bondage of the satanic powers, you are uncontrollable by yourself. If you feel you wanted to come out of that, uh, sinful activities and you want to enter into the joy and happiness and uh, peace, there is no other way. You have to come to Christ. You need the help of Christ. As the Word of God says, the historians have proved that Jesus Christ existed 2,000 years before and died for us and bore our sins and delivered us. You have to remember that cause in your life. This is the word of God which is given to the shepherds as well in the field in the Middle East. The, we may think, why the word of God has been sent in the wilderness? We may think the shepherds are uh, shepherding the sheep in the wilderness and taking their rest. Why these angels are coming and disturbing them? As human we may think. 
Though they are suffering, they are feeding their sheep, they are suffering, they had no peace, they need, they felt, they cried out to the people of Israel, to the Lord for their deliverance, for the existence of the Messiah. The problem is their Christ, the deliverer. And they are expecting that. And God wanted to inform them that the Christ has been born, the Savior has been born. The promised God, the Messiah, has been born. And you can see, together, we see Christ as a Savior. Whatever the problem we may face, whatever the cause it may be, if we have Christ, we can get deliverance. Christ can deliver us from any type of uh, problems. The God who delivers us from the satanic camp, the God who delivers us from the sinful nature, what else do you have bigger than that in this world? If you think logically, we can find out that nothing is impossible with the Christ who died for us, who gave his life for us. And if being the heavenly nature and living I, he take a human form and he lived among us. What a wonderful factor we can see. The nature of humans, they never live up the first place to live. They can never go to down place to live. But this is the nature of God. God so loved the world. He sent His Son. That is Jesus Christ. He is a Savior. He is a Messiah. That we have to remember in our mind. This may be the month of joy. We may be enjoying the sweets and cakes and so on. The decorations. Above all, we have to remember that Christ is the Savior, is the deliverer of our sins, he is the deliverer of ourselves from the bondage of satanic power, sinful nature. What a wonderful mighty God we have today, the birth of Jesus we celebrate, we have to remember and we have to realize ourselves thinking and meditating whether the Christ is in us, whether Christ the who born on this earth, whether born in our heart or not. Unless Christ is born in your heart, unless you realize that Christ is the Messiah, the Savior, the Deliverer, the Peacekeeper, you can never enter into the peace. In Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, it says, is a wonderful counselor, mighty God. What a beautiful fact we see. He is a counselor at any moment to us whenever we are in problem. He is the mighty God to deliver us from any kind of a situation. That we have to remember. Let us bow down to the Lord. The word of God says, every knee shall bow down to Jesus to worship Him. He is the, that is the name above all names on the earth under the earth, above the earth. That we have to remember and thank God, praise God for His existence in the midst of us, celebrate and meditate and try to live in Christ. Let us feel the presence of God in the midst of us. We feel the presence of Christ in our heart. And uh, let's pray that God helps us to Feel the manifestation of Christ in our heart so that we may live with the peace, the joy, and happiness which Christ gives us. The world may bring trouble and uh, sinful activities. God will enable us to overcome every circumstance. Be assured that the Messiah, the Savior, the Christ is born for us. And thank God. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for this wonderful moment. As Thy Lord said, as Jesus Savior has born, thank You Lord for comforting and encouraging us uh, that uh, we have the Savior with us to come out of any type of places, any kind of uh, powers. Uh, as Lord help us to uphold by every word of God in our life and lead our life in a peaceful manner and help us to enjoy the peace and joy which Christ gives be with us and guide us in Jesus Christ wonderful name we pray. Hallelujah.